Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready to hunt another gold ball in the scene of the crime quest with a bow weapon class and an upgrade or the upgrade to the Green Blaster Mark II as the weapon of choice. Now, I did use this particular weapon not too long ago. The thing is, technically, I could have upgraded it because uh, the resources were all low rank or monsters that already hunted, but the problem is, I was lacking the let's see, weapon grade, upgrade weapons. Cream Blaster Mark III. I was lacking the Rathian Plate. All of the other items are yeah, Rathian Spikes from the high rank Rathian that I have already hunted, and Carabases as well, Rare Scarabs, I have plenty of. And now the plates. Funny story about the plates. I'll try to farm the Rathian, high rank Rathian, which has a better probability of dropping them from. Well, I believe that it, you have a better chance, an improved chance. Of uh, getting uh, the plates from capturing a high rank over a low rank Rathian, as well as uh, a better chance of cutting it off from a high rank Rathian. Sorry, from cutting it off from a tail of a high rank Rathian over a low rank. However, you lose the break, the head break chance. You'd have no chance of getting a plate from a high rank Rathian head break. Another laugh, why does it drop, or does she drop every time I try to hunt it? I think it was. Five, six times I tried to. Every time I tried to get a plate, instead she gave me a ruby. Every single time. Finally, the last time I got a plate, and uh, on top of that, Kayamba managed to carve an extra plate from the tail. So, go figure. Anyway, weapon stats. See, some improvement in raw damage. Spread shots remain the same. And the coating size is exactly the same. And of course it boosts poison, poison, ugh, poison coating, which I will be trying to use against the gobble. Now the bow can use paralysis coating, but well I could use it again. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's try it anyway, at least show it off. I suppose I can paralyze it once, that's what I'm expecting it. Expecting to achieve if I do go for paralysis. But nothing more other than that. Now I haven't eaten, so I probably want to go for a specialist if I can, which will be here. Specialist and crazy lucky cat, but I will try to go for mm, fresh items. So let's see if we can get specialist somewhere else on a daily skill that might show up. Nothing so far. I did check this, didn't I? Yeah. I don't remember all of the combinations that can give you specialist on a fixed uh, skill. So let's see, fresh items. So far, nothing. Nope, not a single one. Now that this one will be. Let's see, no deviation there. To combine and temper. This might be good for producing extra ammo, but no. Gonna go for the regular damage with specialist and get a crazy lucky cat. So maybe extra zeny if we get the skill. Or yeah, the cook skill, the meal skill, and uh, specialist and crazy lucky cat. We're getting lucky. I do have dash juice, so I can top off easily that lacking that missing stamina bar. So, scene of the crime once again. No Ludroth last time, hopefully none will show up. And if something has to show up, let it be a Ludroth. He's easy to deal with. Although well, nearly carting me with a combo of hits in the first hunt. Okay, we started here, which is relatively close to uh, where the Royal Ludroth, Royal Ludroth, the Gobble is. Now I need to change quickly between this Oh, did I go the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Oh no, no I didn't. I started in the area that came here. For some reason I thought it was at the next area, here. We have crossed wires in my head right now. Hopefully this won't cost me a delay in fishing it, otherwise I'll have to start hunting it in the water, which is not that so good for bow uses. 
or boat users, it was, this is what I should say. Can you hear it? Instantly. No, it's, it's a bit hard to see with all the muckness in the water. Get rid of that that's juice. Skipping the animation, facing the right way to fish it out. Otherwise it can drop. Guess let's go for poison, I suppose. Should get a poison relatively soon. Too close for it. Oh, that was incredibly soon. Let's try to paralyze it then. Although it's not boosted by the bow, we should at least get one out. He changed facing, and as I, as I stopped there, so I couldn't really avoid the next attack. Okay, let's get this. Not the ideal shot type for the land in the Probably should try to use archos for that. But let's see, the weapon has a. Spread shots mostly, so either spread shot at point blank to hit so the all the arrows hit the land tin. Let's go for a close range coating as a boat. Like steel poison. Yeah, I could try to cut off that tail, but I'm not going to bother with the uh, bow. Especially when you use close range coating, it helps with the cutting with the melee strikes. Now, if some of the bows could hit the lantern while we attack it, that would be ideal. Yeah, that was almost too close. That double flash attack. Can I avoid it? Yeah, I suppose. That's a good one. You know, this boat doesn't uh, lack, does lack uh, any type of elemental damage attached to it, so it's mostly a poison boosting bow. And some raw damage as well. Not really too worry about that tail swinging with a bow usage. Just keep your distance and don't get anywhere near that tail. Um, Arrow missed completely, but most of them hit I did. Once the close range coating is run now or has run out, I think I'll try to pause it again. Now this might result in me not getting the break on the lantern because either I would recommend using either normal shots, rabbit type fire, or piercing shots, so at least the first arrow actually hits it and then the rest hits the body. Luckily in the water it's much easier to aim for that lantern because you can be at that right height. Thank you for that interrupting boomerang, it was charging at me and that would have caused damage. There's a double swim face around, thank you very much. Bit too close. Attack, the attack came out a bit too fast for me, so I can react, I just shot it and took the damage. Okay, that's an easy attack to avoid as a user at the right distance. Can't really reach you. I didn't quite see, uh, show you the skills of the armor set, did I? 
as you can see, he's not really training the match stamina. That's because of the marathon mana. Why am I using more poison coating? He's already poisoned again. So, the dash juice might not be required. Okay, got hit by partially by the coat, I suppose. Let's try some power coatings. I did gem in. The boat doesn't have a power coating naturally. It's gemmed in as per usual. So I have that talisman and uh, three jewels that allow it allow it to reach the necessary level. Now that might be in below because I really can't aim for that uh, lantern from down here. No, I want to press the wrong button. Really, it didn't give me time to swim away. Didn't think I needed to dodge. This is quite fast with that. Okay, not going to bother. Let's uh, dash juice. Might as well top off a bit the stamina and then have unlimited stamina. Okay, ooh, ooh, he was over here. You can see him because of the poison bubbles. Not liking using the arc shots when you have a coating applied. I'd rather do it without coatings. I'm guessing they do damage. I'm going to try damage with them, but. I don't know. I don't feel like they're that powerful. Especially if they miss. Okay, a few arrows hit that. Old lantern. No, didn't avoid it in time. And he's going to do a double one, so I'm not going to pull that much in recovery. And he's going to hit. He's annoying with that attack. Especially when it spams it for no reason. Nice flinch. Stopped it on its tracks before it could charge me, and that was a good miss. Okay, either I was at the right distance to not get hit by that, or I managed to avoid it. Why did it not track it properly? There we go. Keep your distance. Swing about. Or digging about, not sure what would be valid. And again. Right distance. Pretty much I'm just tapping the up the digital controller to aim slightly upwards so I can get some arrows to hit that landing. Or no, not necessary anymore, thanks to Canvas boomerangs. They seem to be ideal to deal with that. I have to use my own boomerangs from now on. I think it was limping if I'm not mistaken, so let's see. Past the fifth minute mark. Oh. I can you can still paintball it if it doesn't hit the ground before time. As only hit the back when it's uh, underground it should count. Get out of the way before it attacks us. Just reposition itself. Ah, that was a good attack on its part. Perfect. Aiming for that right distance, right angle. I can really avoid it. About to bite. There we go. It's easy to tell where it's facing if you keep an eye on that bulge in the mud. Or 
the leg bed. It's moving again. No, that was not limping. Past the 10 minute mark and that was not limping. Should poison it again. It is exhausted though, so that's good. Get the coating ready. Avoid it yet. Good on it. Avoid evasion. Can't really aim for it when it's underground like that. Well, it's a bit more difficult, especially if you want to hit with all the arrows to maximise status damage. There we go. Third poison, and that's going to be the last one. Let's finish off the uh, power coatings. Wow, miraculous miss on its part. That could have fit me easily. Lightning those interrupts. Can't even dig itself into the ground. Is that one final enrage? Apparently so. I'm not going to waste that. Yeah, the last one was going to miss if I fired. The body would have vanished. They could just animate its body jumping into the water and then vanish. So it's a bit odd when they do it like that, that part. Now there's a poison. Now if you know enough, I believe that attack can actually miss you by going over you. If you're a bit higher in the water, it's going to hit no matter what. And they should move behind it. Being at the wrong level and trying to aim upwards is really... Well, there's a... There go, swimming downwards. It's probably going to swim away with enough time. So let's go to the nesting area. Once again. The boat seems to be faring quite well, although I'm guessing I might not get it before the 15 minute mark. I already ran out of coatings. That's the problem with a boat. If you run out of coatings and you haven't dealt with a monster, your damage output is going to drop. Pretty much only up. Let's see. I could paralyze it again, but is it worth it? It didn't last too long. I might just keep paralysis only when it's exhausted. So it lasts longer. That would be a smarter choice, I would suppose. Nice flinch out there. Can I get the kill? Before the 15 minute mark. We're fighting it. And of course, Ludros are being a bit pesky. Wow. Those final bows, although I'm not sure if I got the kill. They did hit, but I'm not sure if it was the killing blow. There were other hits involved. First time. 35 minutes, 9 seconds remaining. 9 seconds before the 15 minute mark. Not the fastest, but still within decent time. No, items aren't carved. You can see them being carved, but I didn't pay much attention. Whiskers and spikes. Is there anything worth. No. This is not really a good area to kill the monster. There are rocks on the surface parts, but they're not that interesting compared to other rocks that you can find underwater. In fact, 
Pelagophyte and Bathyphyte ores are pretty much exclusive for underwater or watery areas. So, rewards for Wall Lantern. This is a low rank one. I would rather get the high rank ones. Especially if I need them for any upgrades. Armor Spheres, I'll take those. King Bones, I'll take those for now. Omni Pledger Sex. After all those hunts, I'm going to end up with over one stack of 99 Omni Pledger Sex between the Voldons and the Cabal. You see, Fins, that's nice. I've got a few of them. So, more the more the better. And some Hide. Well, how? A hide. So this has been the favourite harpoon, a hunting ogre ball in the scene of the crime. With a bow weapon glass and the Queen Blaster Mark III as the weapon of choice. A better version than the Mark II. Or a better perform, I would say. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, and good hunting.